Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Fairy Talk. I'm Nick. Um, I'm having a great day so far. Um, for those of you that don't live in cold climates, I think it's uh, 63, 66 degrees, something like that when I last checked outside. And uh, to people that live in cold climates and are bundled up all winter, that, uh, that's pretty much t-shirt and shorts weather. So um, <laughs> it's, uh, it's going to be a test of my, uh, my camera audio to see whether or not uh, it picks up all the uh, people outside running around playing and on doing all that sorts of things. So hopefully that doesn't get picked up. But uh, this week I wanted to do something a little bit different rather than me just completely talking to the camera and all that jazz. I wanted to show you, um, I think it was like my second video. Uh, I did Shrek Tower out of styrofoam. I made the styrofoam look like brick via a heat gun. And um, normally when I do theater stuff, they do what is called strike. And strike means they basically tear everything down. Some of the stuff gets reused like the uh, wall panels we call flats and stuff like that, and platforms and wagons. Those, get, those all get reused for the most part, but um, anything out of foam like that, it's, you know, they, they just bust it apart. It's, it's glued down and it just gets thrown in the trash, typically eh, about three weeks after completion. So I don't, you know, I try to get as many pictures as possible, but I don't normally, um, you know, have any type of work that I can show somebody, I can actually physically take them there. Now, obviously, if it's a Broadway show or anything professional, um, you know, they, they do a longer run duration for shows. But a lot of the shows that I do, it's, uh, you know, typically two weekends, maybe sometimes three weekends. And so this week I wanted to show that they left this Shrek Tower up because they actually wanted to use it for their upcoming musical that they're doing this year. And they had contacted me a, a week or two ago and just asked for some uh, um, repair work to be done. There was a chunk of styrofoam that got broken off. And well, without further ado, uh, just check this out. They had a couple problem areas. One was a larger chunk that had broken off. They tried to repair it by taping it and screwing it into place. Also, they had a big chunk missing out of the front section, which I took a utility knife and I just kind of made a, almost like a keen dovetail so that the drywall joint compound that I applied would actually physically have a uh, mechanical connection so that it was flared out at the back. And I just proceeded to fill it with the drywall joint compound and then I could use a paintbrush to stipple the surface to give it a very similar texture to the styrofoam. Moving back to the chunk that had been broken away, I used some foam board adhesive and a caulk gun to secure it in place. After making sure that was nice and secure in place, I could then just use some more drywall joint compound to fill in the actual crack and came back once again with a paintbrush to give it that similar texture that I had originally done with a heat gun. Here you can see that the crack is almost already invisible. I was extremely fortunate enough to where they had some leftover paint as for my base color that I originally painted the tower. Using a couple different colors in my airbrush, I could further disguise the repair that had been made. At that point, I took it upon myself to also fix up some other areas to where they had an actor actually fall into the styrofoam. None of these were actually major, but pretty much the same technique here. The airbrush does a really good job in hiding any imperfections. And here it is all said and done with all the touch-ups made. So that's pretty cool, and uh, I normally don't have to, like I said, do repairs that, that late. It's normally, uh, like I said, it's kind of a, a teardown process that happens within weeks of me building it, which is kind of bittersweet, but you move along to the next project. But uh, the styrofoam, I don't get to do a lot, because a lot of these um, either school theater companies or nonprofit uh, community theater companies are on really tight budgets. So things like the styrofoam, um, it, doesn't come up, it doesn't come up all that often because they want materials to be built that can be reused. And uh, this was definitely a unique, uh, unique time for me to, to try and repair that. And that was actually going to be my first video ever on YouTube. And for whatever reason, I decided to do that uh, birdhouse that I'd mentioned earlier. Uh, and that was my first video. But the, the Shrek Tower brings up a perfect point. What the heck am I doing on YouTube? What 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 am I doing? And that's a very good question. And excuse my voice. I uh, <laughs> I lost my voice 
a week and a half ago and I still don't have it back. So it's, it's squeaky. It's like I'm going through puberty. I got, uh, it's all, ugh, you know, <clears throat> anyways, uh, that brings up a very good point. Like I said, what the heck am I doing on YouTube? And the Shrek tower was going to be my first video on YouTube and mainly because it's a technique that I've done over the years to make styrofoam look like either stone or brick or cinder block, uh, various materials. It's relatively inexpensive, it's lightweight, and it's easy to manipulate. And I, I've had so many questions. Uh, the kids that go to that school and while I was building it were asking questions and, and parents. And, and I said, what, what better you know, way to explain it than to just make a video of it and that way it would be a uh, a good vehicle just to, to, to try and explain it. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's easy to do and say, okay, I have a heat gun and this is what I do. And then I route away some, some grout lines or whatnot. But um, it's one of those things to where, you know, I, I put the video out there. I put the bird fid feeder video out there and a couple more. And I just was, you know, just kind of playing it by ear and which I'm, I'm, I'm still doing. I'm pretty much winging the whole darn thing. But I don't have an answer for that. What am I doing on YouTube? It would be nice to make a career out of this. I mean, you guys all know that there's there's ads that go on the videos and, and you know, YouTube creators can get paid through those ads, but that's really, I mean, it, it, it <laughs> it's not much and um, you have to have a lot of views, which hopefully maybe someday I'll, I'll have, but uh, I'm just kind of, uh, I was looking at doing a uh, Who is Nick Ferry 2.0 and, and I will eventually do that just further explaining who am I who am I and all that stuff but I just enjoy making things building things tinkering however you want to say it ever since a young young age I just enjoyed taking items and shaping them and, and manipulating them to uh, end up with something completely different something that you could be proud of and I think that's just kind of in my blood not to say you know you can't just get into it for the sake of getting into it but so my first few videos in, I was just saying, hey, listen, this is, I'm going to kind of start to show people what I'm doing, what I'm working on, and kind of take it from there. And so far, it's been an enjoyable ride, I got to say. I mean, I've had a lot of uh, great supporters and the subscribers, and it, it's just been one of those things. And, you know, if you've been a subscriber for a long time, thank you so much. But uh, if you just subscribed recently, thanks for subscribing. Um, it, yeah, I don't know. I, I, like I said, I normally got my little list here, and that, that's what I... Uh, what the heck am I doing here on YouTube? I don't know. Um, like I said, it would be really cool to make a career at it. Maybe that's in my cards. Maybe it's not. But either way, I'm going to keep plugging away. I had one last thing to leave you guys with um, that I was just super curious about. Going back to my building nature, ever since I was really quite young, I wanted to paint things. And I, you know, it... That was a quick and easy, you know, a dollar, two dollar rattle can, whatever, you know, you know, spray it and you could change the color of something and that seemed to be custom, you know, to a youngster. And I just wanted you guys to take a look at my cabinet here and what do you guys think? Am I, am I a rattle can spray paint hoarder? Or do I have way too many uh, colors and finish? I don't know. I, that's, that's a question I wanted to pose to you guys. Or are you guys in similar situations? Do you have a cabinet? completely chock full of spray paint. <laughs> I won't even get to show you my, my cabinet with actual brush on paint because, well, that's a bigger cabinet. <laughs> All right. Well, until I see you guys next time, take care. Gosh, this guy is long winded. <laughs>